welcome guys to a new video and in this video I am going to show you guys how to um, configure or add the ASDM in EVMG um, so let's go ahead and do that um, this is my IP address up oh, it is the nine let's go ahead and log in into EVMG I'm going to be using the HTML5 There we go so I'm not going to be using this lab this is where I was testing it um, and where it was it worked for me so I'm not going to be using that lab I'm going to create just a new lab so let's go ahead and close this real quick um, we are going to create a new lab let's just call it ASDM that sounds good to me so I'm going to add a node um, or an object first which is going to be a node um, Cisco ASA and I'm going to be using the 92-10 um, we are going to use them VNC after we do that we need to go ahead and add another object which is also going to be a node and we need to add a docker and for this one I'm going to be using the Firefox uh, yes let's go ahead and use the Firefox and the Firefox uses a RDP so it's going to say with RDP good uh, so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and configure the startup configs for the docker um, and for this one we are going to now assign the IP address for the docker and the way they do that from ETH it is um, different so I'm going to give it an IP address of 1.1.1.2 slash 24 dev um, I believe you need to do ETH0 then you need to do pipe pipe true then we need to add the default gateway so IP route at default via 1.1.1.1 which is going to be the IP address of the ASA whenever I configure so here it is uh, we are going to save it after you save it you should be able to turn it on there we go so that's good let's go ahead and exit out of here now let's go ahead and turn this ASA on let's go ahead and connect this to the ASA uh, the ASA is going to be in the management um, interface docker we are going to start this bad boy up um, and it looks like it doesn't want to work for this one so I believe uh, for some reason it is not working for the Firefox so if I go ahead it just says let me see if it works oh look it actually hmm okay it is working even though yeah it is working so you can use either the Firefox or you can either use the um, the other docker that we had that, that it has in there which is the server GUI um, that's the one that I used before but let's go ahead and try this um, use the docker uh, Firefox so let's go ahead and start the ASA so in the ASA all we have to do is we need to configure um, the ASA and the management interface um, so let's go ahead and put it on this side let's go ahead and actually what if we just move everything over here so you guys can see it better let's go ahead and do enable no password and we are going to go into the config config t say no interface management interface 0 slash 0 IP address is going to be 1.1.1.1 one, 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 one. 245.245.245.0 let's give it a name if management let's do no shutdown then exit we need to enable the HTTP server Then we need to tell the HTTP server to allow this network to actually to allow this IP address to get into the um, into the management into the via HTTP, right? Um, it's not consistent, so let's go ahead and just say let's go ahead and just say. Um, 
allow any IP address to connect to it. Then we say management, management. Then we go ahead and end it. Let's see if we are able to ping 1.1.1.2. There we go. We are able to ping the Docker um, Firefox over here. So let's go ahead and bring it up. Let's go ahead and try to do HTTP S whack whack 1.1.1.1. Let's see what that does. So it does takes me over here. But the thing is, when I go over here and I go in events and I go in trusted, the certificate. It's going to ask me to install the ASDM and the ASDM is already installed in um, in even G what we need to do is we need to actually make it launch and the way they do that is by going to the IP address of the ASA of the management interface that we configure and then you want to go into slash pub slash admin slash public and then you want to do AS, ASDM dot j n l p and there we go that's going to tell you to open it and you want to just do later and that should bring up um, java you're going to go ahead to continue you're going to accept it run it and since we didn't we did not configure any username you can just go ahead and click ok and that should let you write on the ASDM for this ASA firewall. And as you can see, um, like I said before, you are able either to um, do it from the Eve GUI server, which I did it before, or you can do it from the Eve Firefox, which is the one that we're doing right now. But like I said before, you need to actually go um, and do at the you, you want to put the IP address, then you want to do slash admin slash public and then slash ASDM dot JNLP, and that way it's going to launch the ASDM. So, this is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did enjoy this video, why don't you just go ahead and like this um, video, share this video with your mom, your brother, your sister, your wife, the dog, the cat, whoever, right? And also. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at um, CCNA Daily Tips uh, if you have a Twitter account. And if you do not have a Twitter account, hey, go ahead and create a Twitter account and then follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye.